Hey guys, welcome back. Today is day one after surgery. So she had surgery yesterday. They said her labrum was torn, so they were just gonna do a repair. But when he got in there, she had a tear in her rotator cuff. She had a tear in her labrum, and then she had a lot of bursitis and inflammation, and he said he cleaned all that out. He said it was pretty nasty, so after it heals up, she should feel like she has a brand new shoulder. So this is the current situation here. Yeah. Trying to keep flashy off of her because he's concerned. But she's done really well after the nerve block wore off. She's just been taking pain medicine, but she doesn't really need it as often or as much. So that's good because um, I worry about pain medicine. But yeah, she said it doesn't really hurt. So I don't know if she's still numb in there or if it just ain't hit her yet, but she's doing so good. Like we went shopping this morning because she's home from school right now and I'm taking her back tomorrow. So tonight she's gonna shower, I'm gonna braid her hair and she's gonna go back to school for a couple of days. Then it'll be weekend, so she'll be back home. But we went to Walmart this morning and got her a few things and I'll show you guys that. But she shopped till she almost dropped. <laughs> we were in there a good hour and a half. We were in there two hours. Yeah, so I mean, I never go to Walmart, so it, like all this stuff was new to me because I haven't been in ages, but she did really good. And so thank you for the prayers. I know so many of y'all commented and have kept up with her and have messaged me and commented on Facebook and all that. So yeah, she's doing pretty good. Yeah, so that's gonna be there for four days. And the worst part is like the, where the incisions are, she needs bras that kind of crisscross or that are loose straps so i think we got her taken care of we've got to go to the grocery store tomorrow because i'm gonna have to get her some things that she can eat um and fix you know more easily with one hand because she can't shut her car door she couldn't buckle so i had to do all that this morning for her but it is her right arm so when she was little she was left in kindergarten she was left-handed broke her left wrist and started using her right hand. Can do a lot both with both, but she's just dominantly now right-handed. But anyway. Thank you for the prayers. I did talk to her athletic trainer yesterday, so she's gonna be getting with the doctor, getting a plan, probably already has by now, um, as far as rehab, but she's not gonna be doing much rehab until like two weeks. He just wants her shoulder to settle down and just to heal a little bit before rehab start, like intense you know rehab so anyway so anyway taking her back to school tomorrow makes me sad because you know how it is when something like that's going on with your kid no i take care of your kid like you can but she's an adult and i have to let her be all right at some point i'm gonna wash kennedy's hair in the sink <laughs> she's gonna take a bath of course but she can't get her shoulder wet so she's gonna take a bath and then i'm gonna wash her hair so maybe we'll film that and i'll braid your hair like a sunrise horizon always there always shining building me up with the song it's singing filling my heart like i'm flying and always warm always hold me the biggest part of my story Healing my soul, help me feel completion. Bringing my here to my glory. Yeah. It keeps pulling me back. It keeps pulling me back to you. It keeps pulling me back. Yeah. It keeps pulling me back to you. It keeps pulling me back. Yeah. It keeps pulling me back to you. It keeps pulling me back. Keeps pulling me back to you. Yeah. It keeps pulling me back to you. Yeah. It's never Kennedy's gotta go back to school today, so I'm braiding her hair and taking her up there and leaving her. Lexi is running to get gas and she'll be right back to get Lakely. She just wanted to see my before she left. Ignore when I'm sinking Can't let go even when I'm wandering It won't give up on my journey It won't forget any promise But won't remember my failure And never see me Pulling me back. Uh, it keeps pulling me back. It keeps pulling me back.
horizon. You're always there, always shining. And hopefully, Annie don't run out. What? Oh my gosh! There's a big old blizzard under my tire. That's a what? Get it. Take a picture of my phone. <laughs> Someone did you wrong I can see it in your eyes It's like your fire is gone Across your face It is written across your face If you wanna talk I'm right here not gonna leave your side Just feel free to open up When the moment's right Across your face It is written across your face If you wanna go out We can go out You can hide away just for one night but if you want to cry, just let it out. I'm by your side now. Just hold on a bit. Oh, there's a fly. Wish me luck. Well, that's better than that big old crawl daddy thing. Okay. We are headed to Johnson City, Tennessee. Who's going to be there Sunday? Darius Rucker. Dar or Saturday. Saturday. Is it at the football game? Yes. Darius Rucker is going to be at ETSU football game Saturday night. He's gonna be in Johnson City, Tennessee. Did you see that video the athletic department made? Uh -uh. They were all doing that. Oh, really? Johnson City, Tennessee. I'm connected. I'm number one priority in this car. It's mine. You know, I'll pay the payment. You know, you didn't want it because it wasn't the big Bronco. Did you tell anybody that at school? I'm a little spoiled brat. Take your pain away Cause I hate seeing tears streaming down your face I know you're strong Won't feel this way for long, no If you wanna go out, we can go out We can hide away just for one night But if you wanna cry, just let it out I'm by your side now See the candles come as the year gone by. I'll thrive for perfection now and consumption so high. So we stopped at at home. We had about 30 minutes to kill before Kennedy needed to meet with her athletic trainer for a little bit of rehab and things like that. So I wanted to look through the Christmas stuff and I seen this black Christmas tree and I had to giggle because you guys always aggravate me because I paint everything black. I was like, oh my gosh, that is so me. So I know it wouldn't surprise you guys if I came home with a black Christmas tree, but there were all kinds of colors, any color you can think of, just different color schemes mixed together that I wouldn't have necessarily thought would look good together that did. So I just wanted to show you mainly all the colors, like the themes to go with. But at home, I think it's pricey on some things and then on some things it's not so bad. But I do think that some things are a bit pricey there. But I loved all of the blues and then there was a teal blue, a white, a rose gold, a pink. It was so pretty. I loved that color together. I think those look so cute. But I did see some nativities and I fell in love with those. They were so pretty. I would love to have a big nativity somewhere in my house or outside. I just think that's precious. We have a Charlie Brown nativity scene, but I love the real nativity scene. But they had all kinds of things, just different. I know everybody does like a Hobby Lobby shop with me and there was a Hobby Lobby next door, but... 
you know, you've seen Hobby Lobby once, you've seen it a thousand times. It's basically the same thing in everyone's videos. So I've not seen a whole lot at home Christmas videos. I did see that Cambria on Living with Cambria, she went to at home and showed some of the Christmas things. But I just wanted to film just a quick glimpse of some of the things to give you all some ideas for as for colors or if you see something there you can order online or you can go to the store or whatever but I think some of these are so so pretty and I would love to be the type of person that just has everything perfect and pretty in their house but that is just not us you see I have little hands on my Christmas tree all the time and I have flash and cats and everything else so as hard as I try, it's not perfect and it never will be. And I wouldn't have it any other way. If I could trade all of my chaos and craziness, picking up stuff that's fell off the tree due to cats or babies or whatever, I wouldn't trade it for a million nights of sitting in loneliness and just being alone and my tree perfect and still and everything in place. So I'm very thankful for the mess that I have. I'm very thankful for the people that I have in my life and for that sweet baby and even our animals. I'm just so thankful that the Lord has given me what he has and I'll clean the mess up any day. Forget about it 
This building right here was Kennedy's first dorm, and it brings back so many emotions because I remember dropping her off and crying the whole way home, and that happened again on this day, just because no matter how old your kids are, you always worry about them, and I felt like she needed me, but I had to leave her, and I know she'll be fine, but it was just really hard for me to leave her on this day. She has amazing coaches. She's got the head coach and assistant coach that are like second moms to her. I feel like they are very motherly and they take care of their players. And I know that they're going to make sure Kennedy's okay and that she has what she needs. Athletic trainer is great. And then there are two assistant coaches that are older men and they've checked on her and they're just like second dads to her. And I just feel like that's her ball moms and ball dads and she's going to be fine. So I write back. Are you irritable? Mm -hmm. I got on your nerves today. Yeah. Do you love me anyway? Okay. That's all matters. That's all matters. You need me to come around and help you? Nope. You sure? You an independent woman? <laughs> I'll help you. Hang on. I got it. I'm good. Now. Okay. Hit that truck. You all pay for it, not me. <gasps> independent woman right here. You got everything yeah. out of my car. Uh huh. Okay. I love you. Love How you. do I get out of here? That way? The same way you came in. Okay. Bye, I love you. Love you. Let me know you're okay later. I will. Bye. Your life, dream big, don't forget to be kind. Okay, so at, at home today, I got Lexi some things to organize with, little containers. I also got her a shower curtain, some um, kitchen towels. She'll show you guys. I'll let her do that haul, but I got three sets of these to go up our sidewalk on the house side. I'm not putting any on the other side because Flash goes potty and he would be a tangled mess. Can you see that? Ah. Then I've got a lot of Amazon packages today, so to, so in the next video I'm going to wrap those and show you guys some of that stuff. And I need to clean my house because y'all can only imagine. Then I also got some little stakes. You can hang these or stake them in the ground. So I'm going to stake these um, probably on the other side of the porch where that little bike is. Just, you know, for something. I don't know. They're cheap. They're $2.99. And then these were $12.99. For 10 bulbs that are nine feet long. So that is what they look like. So let's go put these in the ground.
So this was later that night after I had dropped Kennedy off and she did text me and say that she was doing fine. And she still wasn't hurting and all that. So I know that I don't read a devotional much at all anymore to you guys. I've got the same devotional. I need to get a new one. I need to kind of dive in and research and find a good one because I feel like now at this point, I'm just reading something I've already read to you guys. Just because I don't read a devotional does not mean that my faith has changed, that anything's changed with me because it hasn't. I feel like a lot of people read devotionals now. And when I first started reading mine, I hadn't heard anyone do that. And I just felt like that it was kind of unique to my channel. Not that there's anything wrong with anybody else reading a devotional because there is not. But I got to thinking on the way home, I was like, I'm so worried about her. I'm worried that she won't ask for help if she needs it. And then I reminded myself that why should I worry? I feel like when you worry, it's letting the enemy know that you don't trust because I feel like the opposite of worrying is trusting. And I trust that her help comes from the Lord. And that if I sit and worry, I'm telling him that I don't trust him to take care of it because she's his. He gave her to me. She was his first and he's going to take care of her. She's saved. She prays. She believes in God. And I know where her strength comes from. And I know she's going to be helped. Her help doesn't come from a doctor and it doesn't come from a therapist and it doesn't come from an athletic trainer. Her help comes from the Lord. He's going to take care of her. He's going to put the right people in her path to make sure she's taken care of and she's going to be fine. I know that you all probably think that I'm an emotional wreck and I guess I am, but it's hard to leave your kids. And if you know, you know, but I know she's going to be fine. I'm so thankful that she has the people in her life that she does. And there is no doubt in my mind that the Lord placed her where he did. She's there for a reason and he's going to take care of her. But thank you guys so much for watching. I think these little bulbs turned out really cute to be kind of inexpensive. And then in a minute, you're going to see we got some Cinnabon pancakes and made those and they were so, so good. So if you like cinnamon rolls and you like pancakes, you've got to try these. They were amazing. But I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And I will see you in the next one. and fading I know there's something more than this I think I am ready for doing some changing oh God there is something Showed me, make the broken things new. Yeah. Me